Hey guys, welcome back to a Lego review this time. It's been a couple of weeks since my last video and I've just had some absolute chaos attempts at making videos. Um, I was just having real, real issues so I decided to step away for a little bit and just calm down. <laughs> so I'm trying it again today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse video I did at the start. I, when I put this together a couple of days ago, I thought it was a good idea and it came out a lot more, lot better than I thought it would. But anyway, so we're going to look at this set here, which you saw before. That's set 75152. It's the Imperial Hover Tank um, from Rogue One, based on the planet of Jeddah. Comes with two Hover Tank pilots and Chirrut Imwi. And uh, this, this is a pretty cool set. Uh, this was $55 here in Australia, so... Not badly priced, I'm sure it's cheaper in America. Um, I can't wait to buy Lego over there next year. <laughs> it's going to be so exciting. Anyway, um, instruction booklet is about 78 pages, so it's not too bad. I'll put it together in about, oh, I'd, say about I'd say it's about 40, 45 minutes. So um, Probably a little bit quicker than I normally would because I knew the uh, video was recording when I was putting it together. So... Anyway, this is a cool set. I really do like this. Um, really great minifigures. I'm just going to move the weapon. Oh, it's on the floor. There's the hover tank driver. I'm a, real, I'm a big fan of this figure itself. The helmet's awesome. I can't wait to get the uh, Black Series figure of the uh, hover tank driver. Pilot, what do you want to call it? Oh, hopeless. It's Monday, guys. It's definitely Monday. I've had no shortage of droppages and spills of things all day today. But the uh, printing on this is absolutely awesome. I really like it a lot. I'm just going to try and pick up that other one with my foot while I'm doing this. There we go, I got him. Be a grey helmet. The other one we've got is Chirrut. This is this is a superb action uh, minifigure. I was about to say action figure. This is really good. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. Printing there is fantastic. The soft goods that wrap around is great. His staff, he's got his sort of bow rifle, which clips on. He's got his white eyes because he's blind. They look actually look really good. So he's got a slight smile there. And a little bit of a concerned look on the back. But I'm a big fan of this this minifig. Um, he just looks really, really good. I'm super impressed. I can't wait to see him in action in the movie. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, here's the hopper tank itself. Pretty cool design actually, um, and the way they've built this is quite awesome, I can't wait to see a bit more of this, um, like when we get a vehicle guide or something like that, or just see it in action in the movie, but it's got some clear wheels on the bottom, so it gives that appearance of hovering, which is quite nice. You have a f f front flipping forward door there with a, with a seat. And then we have a top hatch as well with a back seat. So there's a couple of seats there for your drivers. You can add some stormtroopers in. Have a couple of stormtroopers on the side or marching alongside of it. It's quite cool. These cannons obviously move up and down. Oh, it's a quite nice looking bit. You've got a couple of hooks here so you can clip some extra weapons on. Um, it's got a couple of wheels there, which activate the little flick missiles on the bottom. I don't, you know, I don't normally store these in there. I think they're a pain in the bum. I'm not a big fan of them. I just like to display them as is. So I'm probably going to switch these out eventually and pull them out. Just put some blank bricks in, um, as opposed to the little flick missiles. But they're not hurting for the main part at this stage. On the back, we've got a bit of a accessory here. So like a little weapons crate. Top pops off there's some binoculars and a little pistol in there um, I think another one of these sitting on the back would look cool 
you got two sort of two spots there and the, with those black single bricks there I think it would look looked a lot nicer if there was a couple sitting on the back I think it would have filled it up a little bit more but overall this is a pretty cool vehicle um, looks good troops look awesome standing on it and uh, yeah it's a good Lego set um, definitely recommend it it's Definitely, the, it's the cheapest one from the Rogue One sets at this stage, from the first line anyway, from the first wave, I guess. Um, so definitely recommend getting this one because it's a good, it's a good price. It's a nice little starter kit. Um, I'm hoping to get the ATST this week, um, which comes with Bay's Malbus. So I'll try and do a similar video. And um, yeah, I definitely this is the one I've been trying to review. Um, it's just my phone memory of, I think I've got it worked out where I can record and still have enough to do it without having to go and record two separate videos for a, for something that's less than 10 minutes. So anyway, that's, that's a cool one. I'll save that one for another day. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed watching this one. This is the Imperial Hover Tank, Lego set 75152. Said it's uh, fifty five dollars here in Australia for anyway anywhere from fifty five around to sixty five depending on where you go. I recommend Kmart; they're the cheapest. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.